<laughs> We're gonna do a husband does my makeup video too. And I'm gonna show you all the things that I've learned. All the tricks. All of them. We should do that next. About how to contour. Yep. And how to fade. Yep. Is that a thing? No. <laughs> Fading fadings of hair. Yeah. I'll give you a fade. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Can you imagine? I wouldn't let you go near my head with a pair of scissors for all for all the tea Clippers. in China. Clippers. For all the tea in China. <laughs> <laughs> Are we rolling? Hey guys! Hi! Welcome back to my channel. We are doing a first here. Darren has appeared on the YouTube before, but we've never done a Q&A. And you guys ask us questions daily, so we thought we would do a joint Q&A and answer all your burning questions. So we asked you on Instagram to ask us questions, and we are going to go through them. And answer them. Rapid fire. Question and answer. It's a Q and A. Yeah. So Fufu zero one two five X asked, "When did you meet?" Oh, sorry. Yeah. How? <laughs> Can't even Take read. that back. Let's start and over. cut. Okay. How? How did you meet your husband? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, um, I auditioned for a role on Blue Mountain State, which is a show that Darren starred in, and um, I booked the job, and we met on set. Mm -hmm. I played Ed Julia King in Blue Mountain State, and his character was trying to sleep with my character. Mm -hmm. We had the same acting teacher. Yeah, I found a show like she called me and she said that uh, Kelly Kruger, a person in class that just moved up into class, you haven't met her yet, is just booked to roll on your show and go say hi and talk objectives with her and 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 all that. And and the funny thing is, he knocked on my trailer door and he was covered in paint from head to toe because in the scene he was covered in paint, and um, I didn't even know what he looked like. And by the way, at that point, like. I, neither one of us were looking for a relationship in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. So, um, but some point in the conversation he said, oh, my brother Adam. And I was like, oh, my brother's name is Adam. Because he called. Yeah, he's like, oh, my brother Adam calls. And I was like, oh, I have a, my brother's name is Adam. What's your, what's your mom's name? As a joke. And he said. Susie. Susie. I was like, my mom's name is Susie. What's your dad's name? And that's how we found <laughs> out we're, we're related. related. <laughs> And then we were in acting class, we were friends, and then, you know, a couple months into it, like, being friends and everything, I grabbed you, I kissed you, and that was it. Darren got me through probably one of the hardest periods of my life as a friend, and um, he was <laughs> he was truly, <laughs> truly my best friend, and uh, yeah. when things, like, when he did grab me and kiss me that time, I, I got... Um, afraid to lose the friendship because I wanted to keep my best friend, so that was a little tricky, but it worked out. High five. <laughs> it worked out. High five. This is from Braving Beauty. You two, you two make a gorgeous couple. What actually brought the two of you together? What brought us together? My sexy buns. <laughs> he was pretty sexy. He was a pretty good kisser too. I would say that got me. You're damn right. But he is also, for me, like the nicest person I have ever met in my entire life and so considerate and respectful and I was just like I this person's just such a good person and I was like I want to be a good person <laughs> it's like I want to be a better person so I should surround myself with better people they just don't really know me that's all yeah well that's what and what what attracted you to me everything well when we first met I opened the door and I was told you like yes we were friends but I'm I was kind of smitten right then and there. It was just like a feeling, like an energy. You were like, that's my future wife. That's that hot ass girl right there. <laughs> I gotta and log I that shit up. down. Get that. <laughs> and I was like, It took no, me several months, but I got that. Bonnie6759 asks, when is your baby due? Oh, what? Are we, do we ask you why when your baby's due? Did we ask you? <laughs> like, Did why? You, are you having a baby? Is it due? It's in September. Okay, move. Okay. Do you already have a name for the baby? Yes, we do, and we're not telling you. You know what gonna know. <laughs> so, Miri1304 asks, what do you like most about each other? I like, I love Kelly's passion. You know, that's, that's, she has a very, she's a Scorpio, so she's got a very strong passion about things. And when she gets on this, like, you know, when she's got this beauty tutorial in mind, or this palette she needs to go by, or, get sent to her or whatever, she makes it happen. And it's crazy how like driven she is when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, Cause it, it inspires me. I can, I can be a little lazy about things sometimes. And it inspires me cause it's like my opposite. You know what I mean? Um, 
And also, I love how caring she is about other people. She really is, like, truly with friends and family and with dogs and foster puppies who become adopted <laughs> puppies who now become a part of the family. <laughs> It's very loving and caring, and I do appreciate that about her. Thanks, babe. Yes. It's very sweet. I love... My cute buns. Yes. I love, which I mentioned before, how... I work on them all the time. <laughs> how, how caring you are of other people, how considerate you are. Like, he will treat everybody equally no matter what. He Even if someone is rude to him, he will not be rude back. He it believes in turning yeah. the other cheek. He is always the bigger person, takes the high road. I try to. I love how like, he mentioned I'm a Scorpio, so when things bother me, they bother me. And when somebody hurts me or someone I love, it really affects me. And I love how you just let things roll off your back. And you're like, it just doesn't matter. And it doesn't, like, he doesn't stress about stuff like that. And I love how laid back you are and how you take care of me. We both help each other grow every single day. Yeah. And that, I think, is my favorite thing, is I've never had a... He's <laughs> got cute buns. <laughs> he works on them every day. Uh, what's your favorite sport? And this is also from Miri1304. Surfing. Yeah. Love surfing, that's my, that's my jam. Um, sport. What's my favorite sport? <laughs> I love... Shopping, if that's a sport. <laughs> Shopping sport? No, I love, um, I'm so active. I love working out and dancing and stuff like that, but that's not a sport. I would say my favorite sport to watch is probably, I grew up, in, I'm Canadian, so hockey. Um, and um, and I like to play basketball. <laughs> I'm a really good basketball player. <laughs> and Some, street. Something street. new you learn every day. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up playing roller hockey with my brother and his friends. Was... We've been together for 10 years. I've never seen you pick up a hockey stick or a roller because stick. Because we live in LA. Or a basketball. Yeah, we don't really. <laughs> we don't really Let's move on. How long have you been together, married? You're so beautiful. Thank you, Dark Eyes 69. That's to me. Oh. We've been friends for 10 years, <clears throat> married for three, three. Engaged, engaged for six, six. together. For 14. Darren, 13. for some reason, I take it as a compliment, but every time, 12. every time, like, he talks about how long we've been together, he always adds like four years. Like, we were, we had known each other for two years, and he's like, We've been together for four years. I'm like, I've only known you for two years. Time flies when you're having fun. I take it as a compliment. Ashley. <laughs> go, 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 Ethel. 2003. Yep. Wants to know how the baby's doing. I don't know. How you doing? How you doing in there? Are you okay? This is a good one from Genetic9. What is your favorite homemade dish from the other person? Oh. What's your favorite? I love your pounded chicken. Yeah. The the My Hungarian, grandmother's chicken. Hungarian pounded chicken. It's mm -hmm. like fried chicken. It's really good. Really good. Mm -hmm. And I love your salmon and your chili. And your That's pretty There's one. I mean Oh. oh. I mean, you could, I mean, you could name five if you want. He Tara's a really good cook, actually. I'm okay. But I would uh, say... Um, she's getting really good, though. I mean, you're getting really good with everything. Like, seriously. Thank you. You have a lot of good dishes. Not just the pounded chicken, but everything else, too. Thanks, babe. This is from Celeb Babies. Before you found out the gender of the baby, which did you and Darren think it was? <laughs> we always thought it was a girl. We knew it was a girl right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I felt like it was. Um, I mean, I was happy with either way, you know what I mean? But I just kind of had a feeling... She needed a little girl, and I thought it would just be. <laughs> Darren needed a little girl. No, too. Daddy's I little need girl. It. I th here's my feeling: like I hope we have a boy at some point because I think the world needs more men like Darren in it. But um, but I also think that more women need Darren as an example of a good man and what to what to look for out there. A good pop. To be, yes, and to be raised. So we're very happy. At our gender reveal, we knew the sex before we revealed it. <clears throat> and it looks like in the video that Darren was like, oh, damn it. Like he oh, wished it was, it was a, a boy. No. But he was saying, oh, damn it. I'm going to have to clean up he all this didn't want to have to clean up all the confetti because we had an argument about if, when we reveal it, if we, do, I wanted the smoke and the confetti. And I said it's going to get everywhere. The confetti's going to get it. And she it. said, but I want the confetti. And I said, okay, fine. Stop screaming at me. <laughs> I was pregnant. And, that, and so when he, when we so did it. My, ah, crap. Or damn it was, 
About the confetti on the grass. Yeah, no, I was super happy that it was a girl. I'm super happy it was a girl. I was super happy it was a girl. I still am super happy that it's a girl. I was just not happy about cleaning up all the crap in my yes. yard. From Sassy May 6th, have you and Darren planned on vacationing in Canada anytime soon? Yeah. We love Canada. I'm yeah. Canadian. I work there a lot. Oh, Canada. He doesn't have any. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. It's embarrassing. Oh, Canada. That's what it is. It's not the national anthem. What does your dog love to do? I love him or her. So this is Bold and Beautiful Italia, which we love you, and we love all your posts. Um, yes. Are, are you talking about both the dogs? Um, because if we're talking about Charlie. Then she's sleeping. She's sleeping. Currently. Right here, next to us. <clears throat> um, and if you're talking about the new addition. He likes chewing things. Frieza Con 10. Oh, baby's kicking. Would you act in The Bold and the Beautiful? Yes, I would love to come back. I love playing Eva and... Um, no kick, Papa. She just doesn't kick when you... <laughs> yes, I would love to come back to Bold and Beautiful. I love working on that show and it's always fun. We love working together. Hills Crew asks, have you been to Australia? I know Darren was in Sydney during B&B Come to Perth. I didn't get to go. Nope. That's the horse stuff about it is that I didn't get to go on that trip. So, no, we want to go. I would love to go. Life X for Boys wants to know. Life X for Boys, what keeps you guys so close? <sighs> Twin bed? <laughs> I'm sweating, I'm so sweating. Uh, keeping happy wife, happy life. She says she's sweating. I am currently wearing a sweater in the house <laughs> because she's having hot flashes while pregnant. That also helps keep you close. <laughs> oh, that's so Do true. Do whatever the hell she wants. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'll answer this in a little in a little more elaborate way. I think what really keeps us so close Rapid is fire. we're each other's best friends. So Perfect. we tell each other everything. And at the end of the day, like we tell each other everything and we hang out together and we have rules about cell phones after dinner and we have a lot of us time. I don't follow the rules all yeah, the time. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. That's the truth. We but, have rules. They're not implemented or followed. But we try. And, you know, he's my best friend, so. What do you like to do when you get home from work to unwind? That's a good question. That is a very good question. Go ahead, babe. I like to probably play Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. It kind of just gets my mind off things. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I like to take my shoes off. <laughs> it's a good thing to do when you get home from work. With feet up? Yeah. The first thing I do at the end of the day is get in a shower and I take like a really long shower at the end of the day. And I sort of like, that's my way to just kind of like have some alone time and just get rid of the day. Um, and then I make dinner and hang out with this one and the that two one. dogs. And the other one. And it was Maddie, but as we know, Maddie's not here anymore. So now we have Chansey. Little chance. And Charlie, and that's my favorite thing to do is just hang out with the dogs and this one and watch our shows. Instachef Jen325 asks, who the better cook, you or Darren? Ooh, that's a good question. How are we supposed to answer that? Because <laughs> who's better? We're even. Equal. We're both really good cooks. B-I-J-K-A-A-T. Oh, this is a great question. How did you come up with the name? Chance. For the doggy. <clears throat> he, meant, he meant chance for the doggy. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The rescue named him Otis. <clears throat> and for the t week and a half that we had him, we didn't call him anything because we didn't want to get attached. Because um, So we just thought if we gave him a name, we'd get too attached. So we didn't call him anything for a week and a half. And then when we decided that it was best to give the dog up for adoption, and I got the call that there was a family who wanted him. Um, she cried for three hours. I burst into tears, and the Darren just looked at me and was like, uh-oh. I knew when this started, though. She came to me and she said, hey, they had this really cute puppy we could foster for a week, and then somebody else will adopt him. And I said, no, you're not fooling me. I know what's going to happen. And this foster is going to end up being ours. To answer your question about the name, yes, I found out that I had helped pick the family and Darren and I were good with it and then we found out that it was like we were gonna have to let him go. Went to sleep, couldn't sleep, was up the entire night tossing and turning going, we have a baby coming, the Charlie, you know, wasn't getting along with the dog and so much work and I'm so pregnant and how are we gonna do this? Blah, blah, blah. Up tossing and turning and the next morning I woke up, I looked at Darren and I was like, we can't let him go. We can't. 
And so we chose the name Chance because we are taking a huge chance on this puppy. Huge. We know we made the right choice because he's the best. Mart's XO. What is the key to supporting one another when you may not agree with the other's choices? That is a great question. Happy wife, happy life. That's all I gotta say. I would say that there's a lot of times I don't agree with Darren's choices. A lot. But I support him regardless. Like even if I don't necessarily agree, I, we agreed to disagree, and that's okay. A lot of questions about when I'm coming back to YNR. The answer to that is I don't know. I love being on YNR, but I kind of find out um, it's not like just very random. Brings you very hard at your stage of your life, along with making movies. Okay, this is a great question. Who is it by? Karina uh, Stell. Karina Stell. This pregnancy came at a perfect time, I think, in my career, um, but it has been challenging to work while pregnant. The first trimester, I shot the Corgi Christmas movie, mm -hmm. and when I couldn't tell anybody, and I was having all this morning sickness, and you know, it was really challenging, and I was exhausted, and it was cold. We were in Canada, and um, I was getting my stomach was getting bigger, <laughs> and my pants were getting tighter, and it was that was really challenging. When I wasn't initially telling wardrobe, and every time she'd turn around, I'd have like a grilled cheese in my hand, or like <laughs> mac and cheese or a bag of chips or a poutine and she'd kind of look and be like you know I had to go out and get you a bigger size pants this morning right because <laughs> you can't do up your pants like, what is this actress doing and normally actresses when you start gaining weight on set you kind of eat healthy and work out and I was just stuffing my face every time so that was difficult and embarrassing so ultimately I ended up telling her we were on set yesterday and it was like 200 degrees and I'm so Damn. pregnant yeah. and I was just like it's it's hard but I think the question was more like at this point in my career um, I think it's the perfect time because um, you know I think that I'm working and it's great and I think I'll be able to handle it when she comes and you know um, yeah yeah I think it's Great timing. Perfect timing. Yeah. She's gonna be great. Okay, I think that's good for now. That's uh, it. Well, we Rapid wanna, fire. We don't wanna give you too much. If you guys wanna see more of these, let us know in the comments below. And maybe if you guys really like this, we could do more Q&As and we can even do like a little like couples therapy thing where you guys ask us questions about marriage or parenting or dog owning and I mean, we we're learning it as we go but yeah I mean, but yeah we can it'd be kind of fun for you guys to ask some questions and we answer them for you and we can have like a weekly if Q &A. you're interested yeah if you're interested if you would like to leave see. a comment below here in the thing thing underneath the thing thing it says comments like follow on instagram twitter subscribe hashtag it poke yeah he's, he knows Hey, no. What's, what's poke? I don't know. They do it on Facebook. Poke is Facebook something. from like 1920. I don't know what the hell the kids are doing these days. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, let us know and we will do more. And comment. Yeah. yeah, comment. And poke. No poking. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>